Hi, I'm Matt from The National. And I'm Aaron from The National. This is an iHeart Radio box that we are, uh, uh, we're supposed to go into. Get in there, Aaron. Ooh, okay. That is uh, where I graduated from. Let me tell you the truth. I spent a lot of years in college. Uh, two at Miami University of Ohio. University of Cincinnati <clears throat> Bearcats. Right? And that, but then I transferred to there because I went from pre-med to sculpture at Miami and then found out they had a great design program at, at UC and got in there and then did another five years. So I'm a seven year, uh, did, did hard time in college. Can I? You didn't go there. No, but my uncle's in the uh, Bearcats Hall of Fame basketball. He played in the 1950s, late night. Uh, Bill Wheeler is his name. And uh, my mom went there and went to nursing school um, after that. And my dad went there also. So, yeah. Ooh. Let me get that. I want that one. Uh, this is cool. Uh, Danish, very close Danish friends, uh, Mikkeller, Mikkel is his name. He was a school teacher and then he made crazy awesome beer in his basement and he used to bring them to us when we played in Copenhagen. And uh, they were some of the first people that I met. My wife is Danish. I'm allergic to beer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, they made a beer for us called Reality Based Pills. Reality based Pilsner based on some mats. And that's um, based on the design of Aaron's uh, barn studio. Yeah. And that's apparently Aaron <laughs> and Bryce. But the, the illustrator is <clears throat> Keith Shore, who's very funny, uh, lives in Philadelphia. And we just opened a McKellar bar in Paris, or we are going to on Friday. Long story. And um, I have a brand of sriracha in here <laughs> called Knocking on Heaven's Back Door. No, it's not in here. Let's see. All right, this, I'll do this one. For Best Alternative Music Album, the nominees oh. are Arcade Fire, Gorillaz, LCD Sound System, Father John Misty, The National. Cool. All right, and the Grammy goes to Sleep Well Beast, The National. That was a, uh, oh, we won that time. Yeah. I thought it's more was interesting like, the time we didn't win. So we, we were there the time we didn't win. But where's Scott? I think Scott. We were upstate Scott, working on things. Scott, he looks oddly like an Oscar. Uh, he thought he was going to get an Oscar, but he just got a Grammy. Uh, there he is! Thank you, 4AD. We're cynical, but we're very thankful. Uh, thank you to my wife, Elizabeth. I don't know who he's talking about. Um, anyway, that was a, yeah, that was, that was a really, that was, that was a lot of um, a fun. We were actually in the studio, uh, featured on the beer can, when we won that, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Okay, do I get the do I get this too? This is great. <laughs> All right, you take the next one. No. This is Day of the Dead. This is an album that Aaron produced and had a number of uh, all kinds of friends and musicians play on it and it covering all kinds of dead songs. We did Peggy O and Morning Dew. I was not originally a, much of a dead fan until uh, really this project. I, I got really into it. Brian and Scott play the dead uh, everywhere we go all the time. So I knew all the songs, but I didn't actually start to really like them until we made this project. So good yeah. job, Aaron. Thank you. Your six, turn. Six hour uh, Grateful Dead tribute. Six <laughs> hour Grateful Dead tribute. Yeah. Tribute. Uh, okay. President that we like a lot. Yeah, we've been had the pleasure of meeting this uh, gentleman, former President Barack Obama, uh, three times. Yeah, uh, he called us once in London before we played. I still have a phone message, which yeah. but legally I'm not allowed to play because legally uh, you're not allowed to record the, the president when they call. He calls on a secure number, but uh, our uh, trumpet player Kyle Resnick broke the federal law and recorded it, so I have it on my phone and I play it at parties. Uh, to impress my re Republican relatives. Uh, this, these are paints, which I used to eat as a child, uh, and uh, which would get me, uh, give me a lot of great ideas. And I, I haven't eaten them for a while, but I still use it. Uh, I paint a little bit. We joke, he's better at painting than singing. But a little bit better at painting out. than I am at singing, <laughs> but it doesn't pay as well. Oh, okay, our new record. I am easy to find. Mike Mills, a uh, great filmmaker and art artist, made this cover and helped us make the record. These cans have also been designed in, in uh, support, and uh, these are all fleet, uh, I am easy to find cans that uh, LaCroix has made a special edition of. This is the Swedish a actress Alicia Vikander who's on the cover, and she's also in the movie I Am Easy to Find, which comes out the same day. It's a short film that Mike Mills made, and uh, yeah, this is the record. May 17th. 
Mike Mills had the idea of doing a video with us. We had all, a lot of music to give him. We said, well, why don't you make something bigger and more and than just a video? And then he cooked up this whole idea along with our music. And he made this 25 minute film that is a, the story of a, sort of a, an image of a, of a person's life in 164 moments. It is, to, it is uh, uh, if you blink, you'll miss six months of, of her life. That informed the record and we went back and forth and so and he produced the record with us. So the record is sort of a, uh, they go together. The, the movie's like a, the life, the record's like the afterlife. The record's longer. The afterlife is longer than the life. Yeah, he was, Mike Mills was instrumental in pulling this whole together. I don't think we were gonna make a record for a while and, uh, and but he, 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 he pulled it, us into it and uh, we, we were happy to follow him. There's no more, there's nothing else in there. Um, we get to keep the box too. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.